Understanding Crumbling Relics, an English Learning Journey. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase in the English language, crumbling relics. This phrase paints a vivid picture and is often used in literature and everyday conversation. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and the imagery it conjures up. Whether you're an English learner or just love language nuances, this video is for you. Crumbling and relics are two words with distinct meanings. Crumbling refers to something that is falling apart or decaying, often due to age or neglect. Relics, on the other hand, are objects from the past, usually of historical or sentimental value. Together, crumbling relics typically describe old, decaying objects or structures that once had significant importance. The phrase, crumbling relics, often evokes strong visual imagery. It makes us think of ancient ruins, old buildings, or artifacts that are in a state of decay. Symbolically, it can represent the passage of time, the transient nature of human creations, or forgotten history. In literature, it's used to create a mood or to symbolize outdated concepts or practices. Let's see how crumbling relics can be used in sentences. The old castle, now a crumbling relic of the past, stood solemnly on the hill. Many consider typewriters to be crumbling relics in this digital age. His ideas, once revolutionary, are now seen as crumbling relics of a bygone era. Crumbling relics can also refer to cultural or historical elements. For example, a tradition that is no longer practiced might be termed a crumbling relic of culture. Similarly, in history, an empire or civilization that has declined could be described using this phrase. Crumbling relics is a phrase rich in imagery and symbolism. It reminds us of the impermanence of material things and ideas, and the relentless march of time. I hope this video helps you understand and use this beautiful phrase in your English learning journey. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.